Yay! Yeah. What up, gang? It's your boy back with a video of YBC. I think that's the nigga name. YBC Duel. I think I got it. YBC Duel getting shot and killed by a 16 year old. They caught the killer. They caught the killer. <laughs> but, um,. Let's get to the video. That's been charged with killing the most disrespectful rapper in Philly, YBC Duel. 16 year old has been charged with the murder of another teenager and another man who was a West Philadelphia rapper. The teen also faces charges in four other shootings just last month. Prosecutors say the guns used in the killings were illegal and one had a switch installed, allowing for multiple shots with one squeeze of the trigger. Well, I can tell you that to the country and. Man, a Glock with a switch with, with one squeeze. One squeeze. This region appears to have a problem with young victims and young people shooting guns. An update we all expected would come sooner or later has finally arrived. The Philly District Attorney announced in a damn near 40 minute press conference that 16 year old Aiden Waters has been charged with the broad day murder of West Philly rapper YBC Duel. The police are alleging it isn't the teenager's only body. Since Duel's death... Damn, how the police feels like that's not his only body? Like, that's some creepy shit. Surveillance video has been released showing the white vehicle Duel was traveling in as another vehicle pulled up alongside and opened fire. Police would state Duel was being followed for a few minutes leading up to the shooting, and two shooters can be seen firing from the front and rear passenger side. The same night of the murder, the shooter's vehicle was found burned in the 6900 block of North 15th Street. The vehicle had been reported stolen a week before, and detectives were able to recover ballistic evidence, including two 762 shell casings, one 9mm shell casing, and an unfired 9mm bullet. A series of fingerprints would also be found along the doors, but surveillance. Really, bro? Fingerprints? Fingerprints. They're doing all these crimes, but getting caught as usual. Fingerprints, mask or no mask, carrying the phone with them, or after doing the crime, they're texting or going on live. Make no sense. Why bring your phone with you knowing that it's gonna get trapped? You're texting or you're calling or you're getting a phone call. This footage will provide the easiest path for detectives to follow. The shooter's vehicle was able to be tracked through a series of surveillance videos to the rear. That too. The cameras, street cameras. Like you're, you're being tracked everywhere you go, especially if you're speeding or whatever. The alleyway of a house on the 1700 block of 68th Street. Video would show who police believe to be 16 year old Aiden Waters get out of the vehicle while attempting to cover his face before walking into his own house. So not only would ballistic as well as. It's a young boy, but nigga is stupid. He's stupid, bro. Stupid. Forensic evidence be found after the getaway vehicle was sloppily dumped and burned. Detectives have video of the shooting and the vehicle going all the way back to Aiden's house to drop him off. But this is... <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm gonna just press play. <laughs> this isn't all. The Philadelphia police are alleging this 16 year old killed another person and attempted to kill another eight people within just five days. A week before Duel's death, Aiden would pay a friend a hundred dollars to steal a car for him in Cheltenham. That car, a Kia Sportage, was used as the getaway car in a gunpoint robbery outside Live Casino on August 17th. That same Kia was used to track and kill Duel days later. 
Damn. On August 18th, Aiden allegedly opened fire on the 500 block of Sentner Street in Longcrest, shooting a 43-year-old man in the stomach and a 14-year-old in the leg. It was around 9.50 p.m. at the time of the shooting, and both victims would survive. Hours later, at 2.30 in the morning on August 19th, Aiden and at least one other person fired more than two dozen rounds into a car full of teenagers on the 200 block of East Duncanis Street. Two 16-year-olds were shot, including Marquis Sanders, who was shot in the head and killed. Damn. Around 4 a.m., police recovered the shooter's vehicle, a Hyundai Sonata on the 6500 block of 10th Street. Investigators were able to determine that a cell phone had been connected to the car, and they downloaded the data associated with the phone. They discover a series of video jail calls between Aiden and friends who were in jail. During this little nigga connected the phone to the car. The call. He's smart. He's smart. On August 20th, Aiden discussed a series of crimes using cold words like scrimmage to describe shootings and slam dunks to describe murders. As if... Yo, this man is is throwing out codes saying scrimmage and and what else what's the other shit he just said? Scrimmage and I don't know, but what are you thinking uh, um what's that movie? With Benny Single State Property? Oh, we just throw them a party. You know, he's smart though, he's a smart kid. The streets of Philly were just a basketball game. Aiden can be seen on video stating there were two different scrimmages in one day, one slam dunk, and one went in and out. Now the intelligence of this 16-year-old hitman one really went in shines out, one through his arrest one slam dunk. He allegedly paid $100 to have a friend steal a car, which tells me he most likely paid another teen because no grown-ass man is stealing a car for $100. Yeah, no grown-ass man is stealing a car for $100. Hasn't been confirmed, which makes me think somebody is talking. He'd use another stolen vehicle and allegedly kill another 16-year-old while his phone was connected to the getaway vehicle, giving police access to video jail calls he had with friends describing the same shootings he allegedly committed. But this isn't all. Police would search Aiden's home on August 31st, locating a 10 millimeter Glock with a red switch, as well as a laser extended magazine and other gun accessories. In his basement, they'd find a stolen nine millimeter Glock and a ballistic test would confirm this was the murder weapon that killed Duel and was also the weapon used in two other shootings. So back to this kid's intelligence. This 16 year old shooter was smart enough to keep the gun that was used to kill the most disrespectful rapper in the city in his basement. With officers finding the nine millimeter shell kit. This is reminding me of the, the, the Julio Fulio in a way. The, the other dude, I forgot his name, but the one that kept the, the gun that shot uh, Fulio in the leg, or he kept a bullet or some shit like that. He did something, and uh, basically the police raided his home and found the evidence. <laughs> but this 16 year old, <laughs> he's gonna be doing some time. He's catching bodies. Casings in the burnt getaway vehicle, along with 762 casings, it can be confirmed Duel was killed by two shooters firing a 9mm Glock and most likely a 762 Draco. So yeah. who exactly is Aiden Waters? Born in he is the new Mr. Disrespectful. <laughs> nah, maybe he's just one of the gang that most likely YBC Duel fucking disrespect and he wasn't having it. So he took him out. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you, man. But 
I mean, you can't judge a a person, judge a a, a book by its cover. That's what I mean. But I mean, by looking at that picture, I mean, he looked like a good kid. Honestly, he looked like a good kid. Probably just got caught up in the life and trying, but basically just trying to get down or whatever. Only 2008? Let that sink in for a second. Aiden was featured on the cover of ESPN's magazine at only seven yeah, years yeah. old in 2015. Police would allege he was now affiliated with the Fast Break Gang, which is a lesser known gang based in the only neighborhood. Members are connected to and considered the little brothers of a more well-known gang named M24. But authorities would clarify they found little to any reason why Fast Break or Aiden would want Duel dead other than notoriety. YBC Duel quickly became known as the most disrespectful rapper in the city and authorities believe 16-year-old Aiden wanted to be able to say he was the one who killed him. The evidence it against be. Aiden See? It gotta be. Since uh duel over here chatting about that, you know, he can't he never been touched, never been shot, nobody never did nothing to him. So it's like those old those those words is always the infamous words to happen to you. So these rappers or you know, these game members Acting like they're tough or whatever, like, come on. Everybody been shot and stuff like that. Now, I haven't been shot, but I've never been shot at either. But, I mean, pray to God, I hope not. But, like, why even put that, put that spirit out there saying those words? Saying, I've never been shot at and blah, blah, blah. Like you, you literally just asking for it. Aiden is overwhelming, but detectives still haven't identified the driver or second shooter involved in Duel's death. Aiden, on the other hand, has been charged with two counts of murder, six counts of attempted murder, eight counts of aggravated assault, nine gun charges, and nine. One. And the craziest part about his arrest is this is literally his first arrest. And, and it's his first well arrest? His last. Yo. I can't even name more of the charges, but he's 16 years old. And this is his first arrest, and he catching bodies. This nigga was dead ass. He, he was really about it. Yo. And, and this is Philly, too? Yeah, they're gonna make an example out of this little nigga. He probably either gonna do life. I don't know what they do. I don't think they do the death penalty, but he gonna do either life or like damn near his most of his life in jail. Sixteen years old, like he, what? He in what? Maybe tenth grade going into eleventh. Damn, his life is gone. Now, Aiden is facing forever and a little more on top, right? Yeah, see, it's just crazy. The way they have him connected, it's it's like, how do you even get out of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not even just tied to one murder. You're tied to two murders, eight attempted murders. You done shot, what, four people and almost hit another four? Like, and this kid's 16. Was a child athlete. You know what I mean? It's hard to imagine what's going on unless you're there in the streets of Philly that would make this kid turn into this. Because like they said, this is his first arrest. This is his first crash out. This is his first time. And he crashed out. And he's fucking going all the way. Normally, when you have a kid starting to fuck up, there's baby steps. Like, all right, he stole some shit. He hit somebody. This what? kid just went straight for it. Killing, murder, shootings. 
obviously he's got some people around him that's influencing that type of behavior. But it's sad to say when you're 16 and you just allegedly killed two people and tried to kill eight within five days, you're pretty much too far gone. The system isn't going to be worrying about rehabilitating you, even though they don't do that for anybody. They're going to put you away and attempt to make the biggest example that they can of you. But one of the most important... What I just said, they're going to make a freaking example out of this little nigga. They're definitely going to make an example out of him. Important messages from this entire situation goes back to YBC Duel. When you're disrespecting and antagonizing people for the publicity that comes with it, you know, Duel was what he was. He was a gangster, he's standing on business, he's handling what he's doing. But the energy he put out... I don't think Duel was a, a gangster. I don't know, I seen that, that clip of him shooting a Draco, that nigga was scared. That nigga was scared. Caused the 16 year old who wanted to make a name for himself to target him. This is the same thing as you want to put on all these chains and watches and bracelets and then you want to go to the worst club in the city just to feel tough. Like, yeah, I'm out here. No security. Until some stupid bum ass crash out comes up and kills you trying to get your chain. It's the same shit. When you put out a certain image and you show people you don't give a fuck, this is what can happen. People will try to kill you for what you got. People will try to kill you because of your notoriety. You made yourself a target. Yeah. You have to move accordingly. And unfortunately, the fans on the internet have become the spectators in the Coliseum. Mm -hmm. When gladiators were battling and everyone in the fucking Coliseum was like, yeah, kill them, get them, this, that. That's how the fans are now on social media. They love it. They're liking it. They're watching it. They're in tune waiting for some shit to happen. And then when you die, they pretend to be sad. Damn, I listen to all his songs. Damn, he really, you know, I could relate to him. And now he's gone and on to the next one. Hopefully y'all can see the bigger picture so y'all don't end up on a video like this. But let me know y'all's thoughts and comments on this 16-year-old shooter and let me know how much time y'all think he's going to get for this shit. I don't know if they can get that a kid like really like that since he's 16, but with the shit he's facing, you never know. That nigga getting time for real. Damn. But drop comment. Subscribe to me. I'm willing to give away a hundred dollars for a couple subscribers I get. Hopefully I make it up to at least a hundred subscribers. I won't give away a hundred dollars for sure. But subscribe, like, comment. Let's get it.